China has deployed a strategy of using money as the medium to establish its dominance across Asia in particular and over the world in general. Applying soft power moves, China is using debt trap to dominate over countries in Asia and Africa, which can also be seen as a new form of imperialism. Nations seeking the revival of their economies have been at the center of Chinese funding. We don't have to look far away to see China's aggressive economic strategy. Our neighbors next door, Sri Lanka and Pakistan have fallen victim to China's debt trap. China is using economic unstability of nations like Djibouti, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Pakistan to gain strategic advantage. The idea is to surround the next most powerful contender in Asia, that is India. We can see how the situation in Sri Lanka has gone from bad to worse, economically and politically. Sri Lanka until 2020 had borrowed over 4.6 billion US dollar and has constantly been seeking more funds to seek a revival of its economy. China has multiple high-value projects in Sri Lanka, amongst which are the infamous Hambantota port and the Colombo port. China has been luring economically vulnerable and strategically significant nations by lending finances to them through the promise of several development projects and has emerged as the third largest official creditor in the world. Since developed and underdeveloped nations continue to look for financial assistance, China has been capitalizing upon its economic dominance through the wheel of lending loans. One of the ways China has been doing so is the Belt and Road Initiative. Now, do you know what is One Belt, One Road Initiative of China? One Belt, One Road Initiative is a global infrastructure development strategy adopted by Chinese government in 2013 to invest in nearly 70 countries and international organizations. The Chinese government calls the initiative a bid to enhance regional connectivity and embrace a brighter future. China uses tactics to leverage volatile countries' decision-making processes through the promise of BRI project as the infamous transfer of Hambantota port to China is a story of a well-documented debt trap worldwide. So, what is India's stand on the One Belt, One Road initiative? The Indian security establishment has serious doubts about China's plans related to the Silk Road initiative. Chinese port construction in the Indian Ocean and road construction along land borders have long been criticized by Delhi's strategic community as act of strategic encirclement. The existence of China-Pakistan economic corridor just makes this issue worse. The strategic encirclement theory is indeed supported by the existence of China-Pakistan economic corridor. Now the second most talked about initiative of China is a strategy called String of Pearls. The String of Pearls is a strategy deployed by China by building a network of commercial and military bases and ports in many countries. This strategy has been deployed by China to protect its trade interest. As a major chunk of its trade passes through the Indian Ocean and various choke points like the Strait of Hormuz, Strait of Malacca and Lombok Strait. Defense analysts believe that this doctrine along with initiatives like the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor and other parts of China's One Belt, One Road initiative is a threat to India's national security. This as a system would encircle India and threaten its power projection, trade and potentially territorial integrity. How is India responding to China on its strategies? India is working on the Act East policy which was launched as an effort to integrate India's economy and Southeast Asian nations. The policy aims to make important military and strategic agreements with Vietnam, Japan, the Philippines, South Korea, Indonesia, Singapore and Thailand to help India counter China. 
India is building ports at Chabahar in Iran, a deep sea port in Indonesia and Myanmar. India has signed agreements to access strategically located naval facilities of Oman. This facility is close to the Strait of Hormuz. More than 30% of oil export pass through the Strait of Hormuz. With Singapore, India has signed an agreement to access Changi Naval Base which is strategically located close to the Strait of Malacca. Historian Alfred Thayer in his theory of sea dominance once said, whoever conquers the Indian Ocean will dominate the whole of Asia.